we have said that uh, in, in our transition, we want to be a leading company in the energy transition, meaning that we will focus on improving our oil and gas uh, and produce oil and gas with as low emission as possible. And we will uh, accelerate the growth in renewables, but also develop new uh, projects into the low carbon solutions. And I think we've demonstrated with the results today, which are the best results since 2014, uh, that uh, com combining oil and gas and renewables can uh, actually give a good uh, profit. And yet, I know that the rejigging of portfolios is always a very important, bringing partners in is very important, but the sale of, um, what is it, the, the some divestments in your wind farms off the coast of Britain and the US, well, I suppose some people will look at that and scratch their heads and say, well, why do you sell stakes in those wind farms as well? Why don't you just grow them and, and take on a more dominant position in some of these assets? Well, this is uh, a part of our operating model. Uh, what we have been very successful, successful with over several years, and we've been in the offshore wind business for 15 years, is that we have been able to come in very early, uh, capture new uh, land, been able to develop this uh, uh, project, uh, and then also then sell down uh, to, to partners as a part of uh, this uh, project development. This can ensure higher return uh, on equity, uh, and it's a part of the, the model to ensure that we're getting the, the right return from our renewable projects. Anders, um, I guess the key issue for uh, the numbers really is what direction oil and gas prices are likely to run through over the rest of the year. There does seem to have been some modest recovery in European gas prices, but could you just update us on your expectations? Yes, I can do that. And uh, as you see, we have seen a recovery of the oil and gas prices uh, during the quarter, and uh, we've been able to capture uh, those uh, prices by high regularity in our uh, operating facility. Uh, particularly, we've seen a strong increase in the, in, in the gas prices. This is mainly driven by cold winter in Japan. Uh, this has led to less energy coming into uh, Europe, and we also had withdrawal from uh, the, the storage uh, here in, uh, in Europe. So, so this has kind of uh, given much higher prices uh, than we have seen over the past year uh, on, uh, on, on the gas. We will uh, expect that the normal season variation will also come uh, this year, but we expect a, a higher uh, gas price uh, than we have seen, uh, for instance, last year uh, for, for the gas. For the, for the oil price, um, we see that the OPEC Plus uh, is working well uh, with their uh, holding back, uh, but there will be more supply coming to the market uh, soon. And the big uncertainty is how fast will the economy recover? How fast will the demand come back? How fast will people start flying again? Uh, so, uh, so there are some volatility, and we expect some volatility uh, going forward, both on the gas and the oil prices. And that's why we would like to maintain a very strong balance sheet, so we are able to, to cope with those uh, volatility going forward. 